Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. When we left off last time, we got ourselves a new house. Severn Manor is all ours. We rooted out the traitors that were threatening uh, House Redoran and yeah, won ourselves a house as a result. Pretty fantastic. So, all ours, we have our own personal smelter, we can do some smithing down here if we want to, oh, put some weapons on the rack, mammoth tusks, do I need, I'm feeling like I needed some of those, but it's not triggering anything. I'm like, take that to somebody. So I'm actually going to go ahead and drop it because it's five pounds. Where are you, M's? Yeah, get out of here. But I do want all of this stuff. Ash hopper, jelly, cannabis root, spriggan. We've got so many ingredients and stuff in here. Bookshelf. Ah, I love it. Pretty excited about this house. Oh, so much space to display things. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Pretty decent. Some glass. Have more display. Do I leave this or do I get these out of here? I think I might actually just leave them. Take those steel daggers. You can stay, I guess. They're not really that cool to display, but I don't want them in my inventory either. All right. Well. Let's just look at these chests real quick. What I'm doing is I'm... Oh, a wooden sword. So if I get a kid, I could probably give it to him. I'm putting off the inevitable. I, I really need to use the black books. And I'm afraid that... I'm going to suck at it. And it's just going to kill me, but... The attempt has to be made. May as well go from the comfort of our own home. Alright. Let's get a save in. Here we go. So we will start with epistolary acumen, I guess. In we go. I can't believe you do that on purpose. Me either, Taldrin. Me either. It is a pretty cool looking place, although deadly. Oh, that's right. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So first things first is we gotta charge that up. Because that will certainly help. All right. Come here. Take some hits from that. Ooh, he's kind of messing me up. Not feeling great about this. Stamina's fine. Plentiful well-being. Uh, it just restores a lot of stuff. Um, enhanced stamina? It doesn't really seem to be an issue at this point. Okay, that's nowhere near. Oh, duh, I need to use my shout. That'll help. There. Where'd you go? It's kind of ridiculous to lose a gigantic thing, but... Ooh, really close, really close. 
Don't die. Take him down. Take him down. Hold still. Just stand still and let me kill you. Alright, now there's another one. Just what I wanted. Throwing weird globes of crap at me. Oh, it's not going great. Um, that's not the one I wanted to use. There. This is going to use up all of my potions. And we also need to charge this again. Oh, there's two of them on me. That's the problem. Crap, they might have me. If I can just get one, then I have a little bit of hope. And that's it for useful potions. Leave me alone! Attack that instead of me! Yeah, you guys duke it out a bit. Give me a moment to breathe. That would be great. Don't worry about me. Hit this thing. Okay. I shouldn't jinx myself, but- Oh, why are there always more and more? Right as I'm about to say, this might actually work. Another one shows up to ruin my day. Hm. All right. Another of these, since they are at least helping. Back to some of this. And it's possibly a bad idea, but let's rush him. That's a bad idea. Okay, can we be done with those things now? That would be nice. Yeah, let's get a wait in here. What's this? Evening Star, Book 12 of 2920, The Last Year of the First Era, by Karlovac Tomway. First sun's dusk. Balmora Morrowind. The winter morning sun glinted through the cobweb of frost on the window, and Amalexia opened her eyes. An ancient healer mopped a wet cloth across her head, smiling with relief. The sleep in the chair next to her bed was Vivek. The healer rushed to a side cabinet and returned with a flagon of water. How are you feeling, goddess? asked the healer. Like I've been asleep for a very long time, said Almalexia. So you have, fifteen days, said the healer, and touched Vivik's arm. Master, wake up, she speaks. Vivik rose with a start, and seeing Almalexia alive and awake, his face broke into a wide grin. He kissed her forehead and took her hand. At last there was warmth again in her flesh. Almalexia's peaceful repose suddenly snapped. So the sill. He's alive and well, replied Vivik, working on one of his machines again somewhere. He would have stayed here, too, but he realized he could do you more good working that peculiar sorcery of his. The castellan appeared in the doorway. Sorry to interrupt you, master, but I wanted to tell you that your fastest messenger left late last night for the Imperial City. 
Messenger asked Omalaxia, vivid, what has happened? I was to go and sign a truce with the Emperor on the 6th, so I sent him word that it had to be postponed. You can't do me any good here, said Omalaxia, pulling herself up with effort. But if you don't sign that truce, you'll put Morrowind back to war, maybe for another 80 years. If you leave today with an escort and hurry, perhaps you can get to the Imperial City only a day or two late. Are you certain you don't need me here, asked Rivik. I know that Morrowind needs you more. Alright, is this going anywhere, or is this just background flavor? It seems like it'd be important, since it was on this creature. That the Dabala A? It's traditionally believed to be the memoirs of Mora House, consort to Alessia the Slave Queen. While this cannot be historically verified, the Adabala is certainly among the oldest written accounts to come down to us from the early First Era. Huh. Well, let's take them because we can. Alright, oh, and what do we got here? But there's no souls in them? Don't really need them then. Open chapter one. Oh, no, back to chapter two. So, is chapter 2 the end of it? Maybe we need to mess with all these things. Oh, there we go. That must be chapter 3. Okay. What is this? No, this is the one, yeah. That folded these down in the first place. Alright, got myself oriented. So, I'm not really excited that there's another chapter. I was kind of hoping we would be done after that, but... On to chapter three! This is a really cool area. Do you have to give it that? One of those guys. You start things off, please. That would be great. Alright. What kind of arrows do I have on? I know I should have looked at this before, but... Dwarven... Yeah. I'm probably best of what I good enough with what I've got. Okay. Let's use some poison. Potent poison. That sounds really good. Yeah. Where's this guy? Don't hit me for a minute. Let me just get you with this. Ah, there's multiple of them, of course. Man, I wish Taldrin could come in here with me. It'd be pretty good to have him around. Oh, no, don't don't come really close. That's terrible, actually. get me now. Yeah, it's not looking good and I don't have any potions. No levels saved up. No. This is the end. Okay. I can do this. I think. I can do this. I just need a lot of potions. 
and I gotta be patient, take my time, but there's hope. Alright, let's go buy some potions. Progress was made, so that's something good at any rate. You, do you have any more healing I've been potions? For you. What? Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay. Let's see here. Another note from your friend Rallis. Oh, hey. I hope everything is all right. Is it because of Looks like that's it. Is Got it? to go. Well, off with you then. I want to read it's my note. It's been the same since my mother died. Mm -hmm. I... Not potions. Books. Um, where handwritten note? Which note's it gonna be? I have so many notes. No, that was from a quest before. Ah, letter from Rallis too. I don't want you to panic, but I need you to see you at the barrel quickly. Well, it sounds like perhaps a panic situation. I, destroying the ash spawn has made it. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Mostly, I just need health potions. Yeah, I will take all four of those, please. And that one. Anything else? Ah, that'll be useful. And that's all you got, huh? Well, that's not with those natches. the best, but it'll do. All right. So while I do want to check out the book, I also want to finish up with Rallis. So let's take a look at that. Let's do it this way. Actually, it'll be faster. Return to Colbjorn Girl. Yeah, let's have a look. See. Hey, guy. What's up? And now you're back. Great. Just great. What? You wanted me back. What is it this time? Draugr again. I mean, we should have expected it, right? Well, yeah. What else do you find in these damned crypts but waves and waves of Draugr? So what's the problem? At least six of the diggers are dead. The rest of them ran off, and I don't blame them. Ugh. You've had some luck with these things before. Do you think you could... Go back in. Yeah, yeah. See if anyone's still alive. You know, I almost may have well have just done this whole thing on my own, Rallis. <laughs> I've got to clear out the Draugr. I've got to fund everything. Alright, let's get in there. And it changed first person view in the dungeon. Easier to see what's going on. I just want to see what's in here. Eh, we can leave it. Nothing too exciting. Let's just be ready. Oh, yeah, I hear him. Hey, guys, go get him, Teldrin. Thank you. Oh, that looks like a pretty impressive one up there. Oh, there's a million of them everywhere. Alright. Let's just back up a bit. He did say waves and waves of them. Quit being so restless, guys. Yeah, that 
one's going to be a problem. It's going to be some kind of death word or something horrible. <sighs> what can you do? Nope. Did not mean to take that crap, whatever it was. Ooh. Eh, just gold. Alright. Let's get the one over here before we go through that door. Because I'm very concerned about that guy just standing there patiently waiting. Yeah, I know there's Restless Dead about. I see him. Hmm. I suggest we wait a moment. Get an auto save in. Don't stand right in front of me, please. Frostbite Venom? Eh, that's what I've got now. Yep. Best thing to poison it with. Let's do it. Okay. Yep, a death lord. Always a death lord. Is he just gonna stand there? I mean, I'll take it, but I expected he'd come charging in at me. Well, seems like one death lord that's not actually going to give us trouble. Hey, hey. Better get an autosave. Oh, was he stuck on this ledge and he couldn't come get us? Jump up there. Alright, let's look for treasure while we're here. Although it looks an awful lot, there's still a bunch of dirt anywhere, so he's probably going to want us to fund another leg of the expedition. Well, all the miners we had ran off, so if you want more, you're going to have to pay for it. Yeah. Alright, let's go here. Let's see what this gentleman had on him. Ooh, orcish arrows. Uh, they're not really that great, actually. The name makes makes me think, oh, that ought to be fancy. Orcish arrows, that's good, right? But not actually that exciting. Okay, looks like this one... That's not what I meant to do. I was thinking I had my other weapon. But, regardless. Ah, thanks, children. Raiden. Hmm, how's it all's descent? Let's see what we got here. By Highland Greatcloak. In the days beyond memory, when men first walked the lands of Skyrim, there arose in the city of Sarthal a great enchanter. As a boy, his gift for magic and artifice had been evident to his tutors. As a man, his skill surpassed them all, and finding nothing more to learn among his kin, he left wife and child and set out to train under the Alban masters. A year became two, then three. And when finally his path led him back to Sarthal, he found only ruins, for the elves had sacked the city, and all that lived there were dead or gone. Amid the ashes, in the smoldering ruins of his home, he swore a terrible oath of vengeance, and from that comes the name the legends give him, as it all the embittered destroyer. Alone he could do nothing, and so he bided his time, delving deeper into his art than any before him. From the Dwemer he learned the seven natures of metal and how to harmonize them. From the Aeliots, the ancient ruins and runes in Dawn, magic, even the elves had begun to forget. Among Falmer and Chimer and Altmer he traveled, taking what he could from each, and all the while plotting how he might turn that knowledge against them. Finally word reached him of Isgrimor and his companions, newly arrived from Etmora. 
For three days and nights he rode north, and met them as they made landfall on the icy coast near the ruins of Sarthal, which the elves had fortified against them. He offered the companions his service, and all he had produced in his years of labor, and with that morn steel imbued with his enchantments, the elves fell before them, and at last he had his revenge. But he was not content. His craft had become his life, and his hunger for knowledge still gnawed at him, driving him to delve ever deeper. At long last he exhausted the lore of the elves, but it was not enough. He sought the secrets of dragon moons, and won for himself a seat among their high priests, but it was not enough. And at length he turned his gaze to the plains of oblivion, and found there both power and madness. Oh, if he was with the dragon priest, does that mean we're going to have to battle him at some point and get his mask? Some say he ventured there, never to return. Others, that he was betrayed by his fellow dragon priests and killed, or driven into hiding in the ruins beneath his beloved Sarthal. Among the skull of Solstein, it is said he fled to their island, and was sealed in the depths of Colbjorn Barrow, together with the last of his relics. But that is the tale as it was told among the bards of Winterhold. Whatever the truth, the legend of Azadal was intended as a warning. In pursuit of perfection, one must take care that the pursuit itself does not become all-consuming. Yeah, we're going to have to fight him, I'm thinking. Seems likely. How'd you sneak up on me? No, I don't want that. What now? Stop it. Some of us are just trying to creep through the ruins. Not fight a bunch of Draugr, guys. Ugh, and there's more nearby somewhere. Alright. Yep, one there, probably. Oh, it didn't open this side. A death lord again. Great. Just what I wanted. Um. Yeah, put that on, please. Oh! There we go. Can I just stand and wail on this guy, or am I gonna go down? Let's see. I'm on your side. I didn't mean to hit you. Hey, hey! Alright. Let's wait a full day then, in case I need to use that ability again. Or shout, whatever. Okay. Yeah, we've already faced two Death Lords. Oh, we're gonna have to fight a Dragon Priest. There are restless dead about it. I suggest we proceed with caution. Yes, yes, Taldrin. Caution is a good idea. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There. Anyone over here waiting to ruin my day? Ah! Yeah, that thing is. Watch out. Let's get over here. Oh, it's you, Taldrin. You're... <gasps> Quit standing there! Good grief. Oh, you idiot. Alright, we got the soul jump, so that's enough of that nonsense. Okay, what do we got here? Okay. Oh, but there's more to the puzzle. All right. Um, hmm.
There. How'd this guy get way- or this gal get way over here? Oh. Hi, fellas. Yeah, I see there's a million of you. Yeah, anytime you want to die. There we go. Now you. Oh, hey. Now. Oh, I just wanted to wait a little bit. Oh. Miralee's letter to Mother. This is going to be sad. Mother, I understand your worries, but there's really nothing that should frighten you that much. The first crew working here was a bunch of idiots and milk drinkers who didn't know how to watch their own backs. We might run into some trouble, but I've handled trouble before. The one who hired us, Rallis, is a bit of an odd one. I'm keeping my eye on him, though, so don't add that to your fretting. We'll be fine. We'll all be fine. Just worry about you and Father, and let me worry about myself. We'll talk when I'm home. There should be money in clothes with this, and if it's missing, you should take it out of the courier's hide. Yours, Morelli. That's... Man, that's actually quite a bummer. There's plenty of quests where you find, you know, your innocent citizens who have died, and... It's not great, but you just move on and don't think too much of it. But this this touch with the letter to her mother, that's pretty sad, actually. Okay, this is the way out, and that's where it's telling us to go. But, Teldrin, let's look around a little bit before we do. Despite the foul deeds of Festus, all right, and that's pretty much it, huh? Alright, let's go talk to Rallis then. He'll probably ask us for more money. All right, found all the miners. They are indeed Any dead. News? Defeated the Draugr, located the miners. They I are dead. I should have figured. Damn. Yep, more money. Well, at least we can get back to work. But hazard pay keeps piling up, and this won't be getting any cheaper. I'm going to hire some mercenaries this time, too. Having some people around who know how to fight should. Well, it'll set the miners at ease, and hopefully keep them alive. But they won't be cheap, either. Yeah, yeah. It's going to hit 3,000 this time, I'm afraid. Have you got that on you? Are you just taking me for a ride here? Here, it's better be worth We're it. We're going to be making this back 50-fold, mm. partner. Trust me, Undead. I don't really trust you that much. I'll go hire a new crew and some brawny types. To keep them safe. Come back and check in on us. Nothing can stop us this time. So you say. All right, let's try. Over here. Tell Mithrin. Look at that thing. All right, I want to see if. I can maybe get some potions from that lady I helped. I think she said that I could buy some from her. And then we'll head back to Apocrypha. Oh! I don't wanna... Let's just wait until a normal time. This still isn't a normal time. 820 should be good, right? So, ah, another wanderer. Every type of fungus in Solstheim or Skyrim. Oh, and a few other ingredients and potions. I would like those, please. Yeah, I guess we'll take these. Alright, that'll do.
Azora light your steps. Thanks. I Okay, let's get the save in. And go for it. Okay. Oof. I can't believe you do that on purpose. <laughs> All right, first things first. Let's get you here. What, is it out of charge? There. Good grief. Go fight some things. Let's go ahead and start with this one. Get some of that going. All right. Let's just go do this. Where did you go, you obnoxious thing? Right there. Let's just go. Always with the charging now. Ancient dragonborn. Oh no, that's the thing that I... Ha <laughs> That's from my shout. Okay. I was very nervous for a second. Health, please. I don't know if I want to use any perks yet. Hmm, how are you doing, heavy armor? Must stagger. Hmm, I don't think I'm too concerned about that. Not fighting unarmed. Not quite there for this. All right, what about one-handed? How's it looking? Do more damage. That's probably the one to take. Hmm, better axes, not bad. Better maces. Let's just get two-handed better in general. Yeah, that'll be pretty good. Dude! Yeah, there's one down. Where's the other one? Over here. And there's one up the stairs some more too, but one thing at a time. Yeah, we're wrecking them now. Take that, weirdos. Seekers. All right, is that all of them? Are there more of them? Uh, let's go ahead and wait. And let's also see if there's any loot. Empty. Also empty. How disappointing. All that work to battle him and I don't even get anything for it. Alright, I'm gonna look at this over here. What is that? Oh! Not smart to stand in. Can I touch it though? What is it? No, I can't. Oh wait, I can! Font of Magicka. It did something. Go 
Okay, is there going to be something horrible waiting at the top here? Or is that the end of this chapter? Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. Okay. Hey there, Twisty Tunnel. I'll be glad to hop aboard once you get back here. Oh, look at this. This place is so cool. Alright, I do want to go back here just to see if there's anything I'm missing, because it is moving. Oh! It's not anything that I actually want to deal with, so, um, yeah, that's fine. Let's just go this way. <laughs> Is it gonna be charging down after me? Yeah, that might have been a big mistake. Oh, another one of you. What the? Oh, I still see you there. You're not fooling anybody. Okay, that's not good. I was doing so well for a bit there. Now not so much. Let's get one of you out. Help! Oh wow, that... Ooh didn't last long at all. Good grief. Come on, come on. Desperately swing. Kill it. Ugh. Mushrooms and molds of Vardenfell have adapted to the... You'd think Neloth was... I probably have some potions around here that might interest you. No, I bought all your good stuff. You don't have more yet. Azora, light your steps. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. Off screen, I'm going to try and get a whole bunch more potions. And then we're going to come back and we are going to tackle that book yet again.